Welcome back to Fix Dish. And this is an industrial battery. And here is a broken weld joint or solder joint, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, that don't look good. And we're going to try to get that recovered in a way that I can make a repair. Try to get a little better penetration, you know, like melt it together better, you know, like I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we're going to try to get this fixed. All right, so here we are outside. Now, normally, you can take one of these core drill bits and you can drill out this center section. However, these bite pretty hard, and in lead, it's so soft, you can actually, like, like twist this head off. If I twist this off, then I'm super screwed. I'll use this electrode to connect the circuit and use the battery, this battery to melt through this guy using uh, these are these are carbon arcs anybody's ever worked with batteries probably has used these before um, but yeah I'll be able to basically melt through that make myself my own hole clean all that up real good and uh, hopefully salvage what is wrong here so so here's my setup. Here's the cable I'm fixing. I have it grounded here on this side of the battery. I'll complete the circuit with my stinger by torching through that. So let's get started. So let's get to getting and heat this sucker out of here and make room for new lead. So I'd consider this a form of welding, uh, just a high temperature rod to melt out lead, which is pretty soft. And then remelting the lead back in, hopefully creating a good enough bond. And so here we go, melted out all that old lead. I'm going to prep this so it's nice and clean and get it ready to go on to the new uh, surface I'm going to create and hopefully get them bonded well enough that this time it'll hold. The lead is toxic. Make sure you got your PPE on, face mask, dust mask, because I am uh, using a flap wheel to grind at this to make it to where I can see what is broke off below the surface level. Uh, so yeah, don't uh, be shy here, wear your PPE. You don't wanna end up like the Romans and, and pull a Caligula by electing your horse to be a governor or something. All right, so we're gonna build this back up, hopefully to new. Hot side, let me dial this back a little bit. So, with this electrode, I'm actually using the battery cells itself uh, to create the voltage necessary to melt this. Each cell is worth about two volts. I believe I was hooked up to eight volt to begin with and then had to dial it back to six volt. got a nice flat surface to deal with. So we got some towels here, nice and wet. We are going to basically create a dam for this to go into so we don't blow out the walls. Right here I'm getting the lead head kind of centered up and figuring out best routing and if everything's gonna work. Now these wet towels that I'm using can create somewhat of a hazard. If you get water down into where you're welding and you superheat that with lead, it can actually pop and spatter uh, lead kind of all over the place. So don't get the water down in where you're welding. So what we're going to try to do is get it nice and molten hot up top here. Let's see if I get you a shot of that. Let me get this base part 
hot, hot, hot. Get nice and rolling hot. We'll drip in some new lead here. Get nice and bonded. So here I'm just trying to take my time, make sure I get each layer that added lead kind of fully welded in, make sure it's bonded to the edges, bonded to the layer that I started before. Um, cause obviously the previous repair didn't last very long. So trying my best to make sure that this is done a lot better this time. on this pretty good not have it come off which looks like we're all right So you know I got it bonded from up here down into at least the, the crack because there was a groove right there. So that's what poured out liquid and stopped against the towel. So hopefully we are nice and bonded. Shouldn't break. Okay, slightly modified this so at least it's shielded as much as we can get it. Yeah, it's fairly reasonable. And then have the rubber cover. Okay. And then I saw this while I was working on it. Uh, where'd it go? I saw that. Let me get a piece of heat shrink and fix that real quick. Okay, so I got a big old heat shrink here. Got it slipped over there. This shrinks it down pretty good. I gotta turn that up. So I'm gonna get that shrunk down here. I got that one done. They came and stole the battery back from me before I could show you the end result. Apparently they were waiting on it. So I'm out here just cleaning up my stuff, getting kind of everything put away. Um, yeah, that should be. Should be a fairly successful repair. Shouldn't have to uh, come back and look at that one again. Um, what sucks is it's welded on top of the uh, battery cell interconnector. So if they snag the cable at all, it uh, can tend to um, you know, pry off and yank off the, the end. And, it was probably a bad bond because the whole eyelet was left over uh, from the original repair. Uh, I think if it was really well bonded, it probably would have, like broke off. Uh, the one downside of using the carbon arcs is it only uh, turns the liquid in the local area where you're melting. Um, you can get it hotter and try to keep an entire pool. It's just harder to do uh, and keep control of it without uh, totally melting away the edge. Um, I don't do it all day every day. I'm sure some of the more experienced people that do this could do it. Um, so yeah, no, seems like it'd be a good repair. Like I said, I got the pry bar on it, uh, pried on it. It was actually bending at the eyelet. So uh, I believe we got a good repair on it this time. So anyways, that's uh, all today from Fixed-ish.